Hello, this is uh, update number one of the Catmobile. Um, after, I've not done an update until now, which I should have, but uh, I just have been trying to make it look as much as a cat as I can. Here I got the tail that goes on the back. You can open it, and that's where you access all the electronics. The front is open simply because of my old idea, which, which was to put this uh, motor attached to a servo and it's a uh, wheel that looks like a bunch of cat feet and it was going to go right inside there and st and spin it and push it but thing is it's just way too on a servo it bends way too much so that doesn't work and so what i've chosen to do is have on the bottom here right now these are just free spinning wheels which was for this idea but i'm going to replace those with continuous moving servos two just metal supports right here. And so it'll be powered by these two uh, powered wheels in the back. Um, and I can change the uh, speed and the direction of both of those. This metal wiring will actually help me determine where the edge of the uh, uh, of its boundary is. It's not gonna be connected, it's connected right now, but when it touches metal tape, those uh, will be connected and it'll count as a button push and then it'll be able to stop and move backwards. This is the pusher. I need to make a, uh, a button, a two-step button that can detect how hard it's pushing so it knows if it even can push something. But until I, I can't do that until I know exactly how hard these servos can push. Um, See, so yeah, this is step one. Make it look like a cat. This is all fake fur, by the way. Um, and I, I say it look, doesn't look bad. And so, step two is going to be coding. And that's going to be the hard part. Thank you. Here we are coding. Um, the parts for the uh, back wheels have not arrived yet, so I'm just really just initializing everything, actually figuring out how to do everything, and then as well as just putting random speeds to the motors that I don't have yet, just so I can have a basis for when they get here and I don't have to do all this at 11 p.m. and freaking out. There, I uh, was getting errors at void setup and void loop and everywhere, but it was all just caused from this one little... Man, debugging in code is so hard. It gets very confusing very quickly. I was very lucky I got that right. Um, yeah, we just got back to coding. We got some errors, of course, as always. Um, it was just one semicolon making the entire program shut down. But uh, now all I have to do really is just wait for these motors to arrive, finalize pr uh, programming them. I mean, it actually was much simpler than I thought it was. But uh, let's get back to it, you know? Okay, this is the first official test um, of my cat machine. Um, with its first object detection system, patent pending. Um, what's how it works is it has two pieces of metal, and when it pushes something, if anything, pushes, it contacts those two pieces, and then they separate again. But when it's contacted, it starts an internal timer that, uh, the internal timer that if it gets too low, it knows that the object's still in the area, and it cannot push it out, so it'll back up turn and go away. Otherwise, if it does push it out, it'll hit the edge, still know it's on the edge, turn back, turn around, knowing that it's pushed it out. So I guess all we have to do now is plug it in and put some things for it to push out. We're going to put one object that we know it can push out and one object that we know it can't. So it's just going to start up here. It's just going to be driving around. We're going to put in front of it a green paint can, okay? And wait for it to turn, put it here, right? It pushes it, and it pushes out, and it turns around, and turns around, right? Now let's put something that it can't push. If we push it here, it'll try to push it, try to push it, keep trying to push it, turn around, knowing that it can't. And there's the, uh, final addition to my cat is knowing when it can and can't push out things. And so now, 
We just have to set this entire place up full of stuff for it to push out. We have now filled up everything. Let's see if we can get it to push out. Everyone knows robotic cat's favorite things to push is little fabric paint containers. It seems to just be knocking them over at the, during, at the moment. It's doing a very good job of that. It keeps getting close. Oh, look at that, it pushed two out. And look at that, it pushed it completely out, hits the edge. There's two gone. And boom, black is out. Only two more, three more, three gone, halfway done. Coming up on white, pushes white out, actually brings it back in. He's not gonna be happy about that. He keeps going determined to push the rest of these paint out. For some reason, he likes to turn while he's driving straight. Um, blame it on the coat, blame it on the, the coder, not the robot. Oh, it hits yell, it hits pink. Pink is, I'll count that as out. Cat pink is out. Cause you know, it's pretty hard for robotic cats to aim. It's not their uh, forte. Look at this. And brown is out, completely out. One more. You know, it's halfway out. I'll call it out. Boom, it has completely removed all the objects from its area. Good job, cat. Okay, so this is where Mr. Cat is at so far. Um, there's a couple issues. Uh, some are that because that the entire ground is now covered in paint, his wheels um, don't get as much traction or if they go on the metal tape. So sometimes I have to nudge him forward to get him going, but then he just gets too much friction. He can't go anymore. So once there's more, the more paint there is on the system, the uh, more Mr. Cat seems to uh, struggle. But all the uh, paint, painting that he's done, it's all been on his choice of what to do. Um, I'm just helping him move occasionally so he can get to those choices. I'm gonna call it there. The battery's starting to die, and he's used almost all the paint that I have given him. Um, he looks pretty excited. He looks pretty, pretty accomplished. Yeah, uh, I hope he likes it. I think. I mean, he made it, so he obviously likes it. Let's. Uh, that's robot painting cat. Thank you so much.